Hi guys, it's Ben here. Hope you're all doing very well. Indeed, I'm coming here just after Liverpool have beaten Blackburn Rovers by two goals to nil in the fourth pre-season friendly of this 2018-19 campaign. Now, before I get into the game, just want to let you know about a competition that I'm doing on my Instagram. So if you follow me, at Ben might say, you can go and see my feed and see what the giveaway is. It is a giveaway to win your choice of Liverpool shirts. So you can win the home shirt, you can win the away shirt, or if you fancy it, you can win the third shirt. Now, I'll pick the winner in the next few days. Um, all you've got to do is follow me on Instagram, like the post, and tag three Liverpool fans in the comments. Uh, and I'll DM the winner, and you can pick any of those three shirts you want in your size. I'll ship it to wherever you live in the world. There you go, so follow me on Instagram, Ben might say, for a chance to win that. Anyway, good 2 0 win for the Reds today, a nice. Uh, recovery after that quite disappointing nil-nil draw uh, at Bury at the weekend. Um, some shining players tonight, Naby Keita, Daniel Sturridge, um, Robertson was very good, Markovic gets on the score sheet. Um, yeah, I mean it was a really boring first half to be honest, nobody really stood out, it didn't really create many chances, obviously we, we had a penalty which Solanke won very smartly but Milner missed. Um, have we got a, pen a proper penalty taker yet? Um, that's still... Still a bit of a concern, but... And then, after that, we missed a couple of chances. Alana hits the post. Origi gets one ruled out, ruled out rightly for offside. Origi, again, I'm sorry, wasn't his night. Um, I've said it a few times in pre-season, but he's really not going about getting his way back into Klopp's plans very well indeed. Same with Solanke, even though he won the penalty, I didn't think he was particularly threatening, and Blackburn looked like they could, they could deal with that. Liverpool 11 in the first half pretty easily, even though Lallana was picking up some good positions. Um, there were some good bits and pieces being done there, but it was a second half when we introduced that all-new midfield with um, well, with Fabinho and Cater at the heart of it, and Cater in particular winning the ball high at the pitch. Uh, that, that goal he put on for Sturridge was exactly what we brought Cater for, just balls of energy, um, just picking the ball up high at the pitch, and... That free ball was absolute perfection. Sturridge could not miss. Lovely, lovely second goal. Exactly what we want to see from this Liverpool side. The first one, it was all Sturridge's good work as well. Um, so a good assist from him. It was good play from deep with Markovic making the run through the middle. We played him in perfectly and Markovic gets to finish. So I think we can safely say Markovic won't be resurrecting his Liverpool career. But, you know, nice for him to get what's probably going to be his last ever Liverpool goal. And that's probably only his second or third ever Liverpool goal. So there you go. Nice moment for him. Um, but yeah, what else can you really say? I thought John Matip looked a bit dodgy. His passing was a bit off. Um, who else looked quite sluggish? I mean, Karius played 60 minutes. Didn't make any mistakes. Made actually one decent save with his feet. Um, so I, could, I suppose good for him to get uh, another clean sheet uh, in the bag. Um, but that obviously won't count for anything. Alisson is... About to join Liverpool, but in fact, by the time this video goes out, they might do a 10 o'clock announcement. So they might have announced it right now while I'm speaking, for all I know. So Alisson is in, um, and reports suggest that could be the last um, deal we, we make this summer. Um, we've got to take it with a bit of a pinch of salt, maybe. Obviously, we, we thought recently that Danny Ward was going to be Liverpool's number one, and now all of a sudden he's gone to Leicester, or he's going to Leicester, and we've signed Alisson. So how much do you really want to buy into what the local journalists are saying. Leon announced on their Twitter today that Nabil Fakir is going to be presented with the World Cup at their stadium on August the 12th. Um, we obviously play West Ham that weekend. So, I mean, things have started to point towards him staying at Leon, which is surprising and rather disappointing, to be honest. I mean, obviously our squad's still significantly stronger now than what it was this time last year. Um, even this time, well, even in January when, when we signed Van Dijk. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, with Oxley chamberlain being out for the season, uh, I know we've got Shakiri who can play uh, in advanced roles. I know we've got Naby Keita in, who is going to be very much an attacking player. I know we've got Fabinho in that midfield as well. Um, but still, um, one extra body as an attacking creative source would have been lovely. Um, but let's not give up yet because, you know, French media is still kind of hinting that a deal is uh, still to be potentially made with a restructuring um, but yeah Liverpool journalists don't seem to think so so we'll see what happens there in terms of outgoings there's still probably five or six players that will find themselves out the door before we start the season um, Harry Wilson's obviously recently gone we thought he might have been an option for the squad this year I imagine Shea Ojo will follow suit Ryan Kent likewise I mean there's no real reason to keep them around this season um, 
So there you go, the, and the only other question marks, I suppose, Solanke. Uh, I think pretty sure Rigi will leave, Markovic will leave. Imagine Mignolet or Karras will leave, probably Mignolet. And that's pretty much it, probably. So the, Euro the uh, US tour coming up now with the game against Dortmund on Sunday. So I guess we'll start to up the ante. Obviously, more players coming back in. Um, the stars of the World Cup, the ones that maybe got knocked out earlier. Um, obviously, your Salas and your Manes. Shakiri joining in with the squad as well. Grujic, likewise. Um, he's still knocking around the place, although he'll probably leave as well. But yeah, anyway, a good 2-0 win for the Reds tonight. Not really much you can say about it other than... Um, some positive performances from the guys you'd expect, Naby Keita in particular, Daniel Sturridge um, really did take his chance well, although he missed one just before, which would have concerned him, but like all great strikers, he took the next one with a plum. so fair play to him, and fair play to Liverpool for seeing out quite a routine 2-0 win in the end, um, and we look forward to the US Tour, as I said, I'm going to be in New York uh, flying out on Wednesday for the Man City game, so as I say, if you're out there, make sure you hit me up. Make sure you're following my Instagram for all the sort of content from out there. There's going to be plenty of it. And, of course, for the giveaway to win a Liverpool shirt of your choice, just follow me on Instagram and you'll have all the details for that. And whilst you're at it, follow me on Twitter, uh, Facebook and Snapchat as well for more, Ben might say. Um, and subscribe to this channel if you're new. We hit 4K recently, so thank you very much for that. Um, can we hit 5K in the next month or so? That would be absolutely lovely. If we're not making any transfers, though, then we might struggle because I won't have much to talk about on the... Uh, incomings from which is what all you guys like to hear me talk about um, but anyway was what it was today Alisson is about to sign so let's well he probably already has signed um, he's on his way back to Italy now to f finish off his holiday um, which is exciting we have now the best squad that we've had since 2009 in my opinion since we lost Xabi Alonso um, Daniel Sturridge could well be a part of that, which is a, a bonus if, if he's fit and firing. Um, Adam Alana as well. So let's not forget about these players that we didn't see much of last season that can come back into the fold, have that experience in the Premier League that can still provide value for us. So let's not be too down, even if we don't get Fakir. But leave a comment with whether you think we will. Um, I'll answer all of your comments as always. And you're going to ask me if I think we'll get him. Um, so if you ask me in the comments if I think we'll get Fakir, that means I know you haven't watched this till the end because I'm going to give an answer right now. And I'm gonna, I'll keep changing my mind. I'm still going to stay positive and say yes, we are going to get Nebo Fakir, okay? Um, so let's be happy uh, that we've got Alisson, but let's, you know, let's hope. Let's not pray, but let's, let's hope that we get Fakir as well. Um, leave your thoughts on the game as well, man of the match, and anything else you'd like to say. Any players that maybe convinced you that they have got a future at Liverpool? Lazar Markovic? Yeah, you never know. Anyway, see you next time.